Firestorm and the future of Battlefield 5 content. That's what I want to talk about in today's video. How has Battlefield 5's post-launch content been going? What does it need to do? And have games like Apex completely stolen the thunder of Battlefield 5's upcoming Battle Royale add-on? So, Battlefield 5 has been out for over three months now. Since release, there's been many frequent updates to the game, refinements, improvements, and new content. That might all sound good and impressive, but unfortunately the game launched in such an incomplete state that many of the updates still feel like they're pushing the game toward a launch-ready product instead of improving upon a completed game. User interface and assignments still need work, PC performance leaves a lot to be desired, animations are still clunky despite many refinement passes along with the time to death experience still being less than ideal. That being said, the game is playable and it's even fun a lot of the time. But a question I get asked all the time is, should I get Battlefield 5 now? And I imagine a lot of people watched my initial review of Battlefield 5 talking about how it was a great game, it just wasn't complete. And so they want to know if it's good to go now. Can they spend their money? And it is hard for me to give this game a full-fledged, like, definitely get Battlefield 5. It's a great game. Uh, mostly because three months after launch, it's in a state that I would say is probably launch ready or at least close to launch ready, but we don't really know what's in store for the future. And that really is, I think, the main problem right now is people are waiting to see what is planned for the future of this game. Battlefield games traditionally have a supported lifespan of around two-ish years, and then usually all development is pulled for support of whatever new Battlefield game they've launched. The problem here is that it feels like Battlefield 5 is still progressing towards a finished product, and the post-launch content so far has been quite underwhelming. Everyone who currently owns the game is waiting on new factions and big iconic battles. Americans, Japanese, Russians, Wake Island, Stalingrad, the Battle of the Bulge. These are conversations that I'm constantly having with people I know who play the game. DICE has released very little to no information regarding these elements. And that's scared people because if there was big content planned, then certainly DICE would want to talk about it to a certain extent and reassure their player base that a ton of cool stuff is coming. At the moment, the only non-Battle Royale content we have to look forward to is the Battle of Greece, a battle that probably wouldn't even be in my top 10 request for World War II game content. It could be a really cool and interesting battle or map that DICE is making, it's just not really marketable and it might only be one map. Players don't really know since specifics have been very, very sparse. The recent co-op release was one of the most uninspired, unpolished pieces of Battlefield content I've ever seen. This coming from a developer that needs to do everything possible to reassure their player base and community that the best has yet to come. And as much as I would like to imagine that co-op was crap because they pulled resources to focus on better multiplayer content for the game, Knowing EA's general policy towards post-launch development, if a product underperforms in sales, well, it's usually to pull resources and then put them on a new project. And Battlefield 5 did underperform. My worst fear is that Battlefield 5 is now running on a tiny development team who is tasked to deliver what was promised and do their best to create new content with as little resources as possible. I'm hoping that EA might have been taking a page out of Ubisoft's book and really doing a great job at supporting their titles post-launch, even if their sales expectations were not quite where they wanted them to be, but really only time will tell what their overall policy is. Now, recently developer Nicholas Estrand posted a Twitter poll asking players if they wanted a Ju-52 paratrooper plane for the Germans or more tanks and fighters for the game. And I know Nicholas is trying to do right and give players what they want, but in a way it kind of is showing DICE's hand. Now for those of you who don't know, when you play a game of Grand Operations, one of the premier game modes for Battlefield 5, and you paratroop in as the Germans, the interior of the plane as you start off the round is filled with British soldiers. And the plane itself is in fact a British plane with just German markings on the wings. This is because DICE didn't have the time or resources to implement the German plane before launch, and it confuses many players at the start of the game as to what team they're on. Now that we're in post-launch, Nicholas has presented the player base with a choice of do we want a more finished launch game content or do we want new content? 
kind of a crappy choice for players and an unfortunate situation for developers. So if DICE is actually spread this thin already, it certainly doesn't bode well for whatever is going to be announced after Firestorm content. We do know that there will be a new big roadmap update soon, but if it doesn't include a major faction in a major new battle or several new major battles, it will probably be a turning point in my hopes for the future of this game. Now, there is of course the wild card, Firestorm. This is being developed by Criterion, a studio that in my opinion has proven themselves with some of their work on Star Wars Battlefront. It's very possible, even likely, that EA is putting many of their eggs in the Battle Royale basket. Maybe Firestorm will be massive. It's hard to say since there's so little information about it right now. The biggest hurdle though for Firestorm is of course that EA has just launched Apex Legends for free on basically every major gaming platform. Their new Battle Royale has become one of the world's most popular games overnight. It fixes, refines, and innovates the Battle Royale formula in pretty much every way and has also been in active development for quite a while. It's practically killed any interest in Black Ops 4's Battle Royale, which was actually a pretty decent Battle Royale. So what possible chance does Firestorm have against this new juggernaut of a game? A game that launched with very few bugs and is basically working on refinements, balance, and new content. And unfortunately, I just don't know. I do know that they're gonna have to do something pretty epic to attract attention of Battle Royale players. And if they do actually put a Firestorm game mode behind a paywall, well, it seems like that's almost a guarantee that it will fail. The new Battle Royale market is so competitive these days that an entry fee is almost asking too much. I think one of the best angles Battlefield could take for the Battle Royale experience is theme, graphics, destruction, and gunplay. It would be the only World War II themed Battle Royale game, and it would have a more serious undertone compared to Apex's flashy colors and in-game billboards. The graphics of Battlefield 5 are certainly beyond any other multiplayer first-person shooter, so properly leveraged, they could make it a very sexy marketing experience. We've also already seen tanks driving through buildings, so we know destruction is certainly coming, and it could solve the building camping syndrome of so many other Battle Royale games. And then of course, there is the Battlefield gunplay, which feels great and has a pretty good skill ceiling to it. All those elements utilized properly and behind a free-to-play package could be a great way to try and present a Battle Royale experience. And even if you're only interested in the Battlefield 5 base game and very little in the Battle Royale experience, well, Apex has brought a huge amount of players back to Titanfall 2, which is pretty cool. So a good free-to-play Battle Royale experience could generate a lot of interest in Battlefield 5. Still, there's no denying that EA has potentially created their own biggest competition that could drastically hurt Battlefield 5's popularity and performance in the future. Still, a good game should stand for itself and speak for itself, and so if DICE can deliver, or rather Criterion can deliver, a good, solid Battle Royale experience, hopefully players will play it and it will attract more people to Battlefield 5. Outside of the whole Battle Royale angle for the future of Battlefield 5, players need to know that good, new content is coming to the game. Good, polished content is coming to the game. The co-op edition, has been a big hit against Battlefield 5, doing more damage than good, which is really unfortunate. The new Panzerstorm update for Grand Operations is nice, but I can't help but feel like it's just finishing the Panzerstorm map. Most maps launch with multiple game modes for them. Panzerstorm launched with only Conquest, and now it's finally being finished, which again, sort of feels like launch content, right? Overall, for a regular Battlefield game, it still feels like we're finishing off the content that should have been in the game at launch. So I think ultimately what I need to see and what a lot of other players are gonna need to see is a new roadmap that is going to absolutely knock my socks off. I wanna see at least one major new faction. I'll be content with the one major new faction, but if DICE announced many big epic battles, multiple new factions coming, all this stuff, then I would get excited. And I really hope the roadmap that DICE is going to reveal to the public very soon has that effect. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about Battlefield 5 right now. And I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off. Thank you.